We welcome you to a special postseason edition of Center Ice. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe D'Ambrosio here with the head coach of the Huskies, Mike Cavanaugh. The Huskies, who are home this weekend for the opening round of the Hockey East Tournament, a best two out of three against the Vermont Catamounts. Coach, congratulations. What an exhilarating weekend for your team. It was. It was a, a great send-off for our seniors. I was really happy with the way we played on uh, Friday night at home, uh, especially coming off the previous week where we did not play very well. And I thought uh, we gave our fans uh, the type of effort we expect on a nightly basis. And then to go up to New Hampshire, which is always a tough place to play. Uh, I've gone up there for 20 years with some really good teams, and it's, it's a hard place to win. Is it a bigger rink? I hear people say it it's is. a bigger it's, rink. It uh, is. Not only it's the Olympic-sized rink, right. but the corners are very deep as well. Some Olympic rinks, the corners aren't as deep. This place is, is big. And uh, it's just different playing on it. And they always have a great crowd. It's a hostile atmosphere. And... For us to come back the way we did in the third period, down 4-1, to one, tie the game late. Uh, Joey Ferris, you know, with the goalie pulled, we tied the game and uh, then win it in overtime. It, I think it was a win for our program that we haven't had since I've been here, and uh, it's just a great way to go into our playoffs. Now, Joey Ferris, who we'll talk to in a little while, hadn't scored a goal in 12 games, so for him to get two in the third period, uh, that kind of shows a lot about his character and just his willingness to do whatever the team needs to be successful. It was, and it was funny because his line went out there, and I was before they went out there, I said, just get it down there and get a whistle so we can call timeout and, uh, and get the big set, up, set up a play. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to pull a goalie and set up a play. We'll put Latunov's line out there, and uh, he was like, okay, I will coach. You know, yeah. Next thing I know, he's scoring the game. So it was great because, you know, it saved us for the timeout in, in overtime, and it's nice having that timeout in overtime because if you ever get in trouble, Right. You can ice the puck and, you know, call timeout and get fresh legs out there. And then in overtime, Corey Ronan, who's been such a big spark plug for you since he's come back from his injury, scores the game winner on a, on a backhand, a, a goal that on uh, the Internet played to rave reviews from Husky Nation. Yeah, he, uh, he has been. It's uh, even started with Friday night, I thought. He just infuses so much energy into our team. And when you see players like he and uh, Max Coulter and... They, uh, they just get you excited, and they, like I said, the guys on the bench, all of a sudden, they want to emulate what those two are doing, and it's great to have them back in our lineup. In year two in Hockey East, Mike, how important is it for you have, to have taken this next step? Obviously, last year, playoffs were two and out. This year now, you get a home series, which only goes to the top eight teams. I would think as a step, that's a huge step for the program. There is. There's a couple things. We had talked about as a team, like last year, when we went down the stretch, we got swept in three weekend series. Yeah. And they weren't really close either. Uh, this year we got swept by Providence, but played a, a great game against them at home. Yeah. And, and the game we played there wasn't bad either. Uh, Northeastern, we did not play well at home, but played a great road game. So we went from not even having a chance to win to being in the games, and then to finish the weekend, uh, finish those three weekends with New Hampshire and, and sweeping New Hampshire I think was a great step for our program to say, hey, it's not the same as last season. We're making progress here. And I would think getting a win Friday night at home was key because let's be honest, home has not been the favorite pond for the Huskies this year for whatever reason. You know what it is? I was talking to uh, Rich Capola about it, saying that I think it's more first night hasn't been great. Right. We've played better the second night. Okay. And uh, we've done a, unfortunately, most of those have been, been at home. home. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, but. You know, the, also the step we made, I think, is hosting a home playoff series right. uh, and finishing ahead of, you know, with the exception of Lowell, all the established state schools, right. Maine, UMass, Vermont, New Hampshire, we finished ahead of them this year. Right. So I, I think... Uh, in Rhode Island, who doesn't have a team? They don't have a team yet, <laughs> no. Uh, but we're making, I said, progress with the program, and that's the goal when you take something like this over. Speaking of the land-grant schools, you played pretty well against Vermont twice. The game at the XL Center with the goal going past Tanner Creel off the stanchions and then the giveaways in the third period was a crazy game. What's the most important thing you have to do against the Catamounts this weekend? I think that we have to uh, compete. I, I think we have to compete for three periods. In that game, I didn't think we really turned it up till the third period. I thought the first two periods were 
a little vanilla for my liking. Okay. And uh, the third period, we really came out and played hard, and then followed that up the next night playing a great three periods at BC. So I think the most important thing for our team is that we compete. You know, and that's just, and when you do that, you establish a forecheck, you close time and space in the defensive zone, you don't turn pucks over in the neutral zone. All the things that great teams in the playoffs do, as well as, I, and I've been really happy with our special teams play as of late. And to have a home crowd behind you would be nice. It would be great. I think it's uh, it's been a long time, you know, since, well, I don't know if the XL Center has ever seen college hockey playoff. Uh, I would say no. Right. So I would say no. It's uh, been a long time, and we're excited to be back there in front of our home fans. Can't wait for Friday night. Cab, good luck. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Now time for our player profile segment. I always like to bring in guys named Joe because I think they're the smartest guy in the room. This is Joey, Joey Ferris, senior who had two of the biggest goals of the season for UConn in the win on Saturday. First off, congratulations. What was that bus ride back home from Durham on Saturday night? Well, thank you. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. You know, it was, uh, I mean, just being able to pull out that win, uh, guys were really excited and uh, being able to go back to Hartford, it was uh, definitely a happy bus. So Let's talk about your two goals, Joey. First off, the early third period goal that started the comeback. Take us through that. Yeah, so uh, like our line had been doing all night, just trying to work the puck down low. Uh, Max Coulter got a cycle from Carl Elmir and uh, made an unreal pass behind the back pass to me. And uh, I saw the goalie was there and I just tried to pull it to the other side and pull it across and uh, luckily I was able to beat him. And then empty, empty net for you guys. Nichols out of the goal, minute three to go and you get the game tying goal to force overtime. What about that one? Uh, yeah, it's similar play. I was just trying to get open from the net, and uh, Joe Masonis made a beautiful backhand pass to me, and uh, I just tried to get a stick on it and get it up, and uh, it went in, and it went crazy, so it was a lot of fun. No, I'm sure you, you knew the statistic. You hadn't scored a goal in 12 games. For you to get two goals in the most important game of the year as a senior had to feel great. Yeah, you know, I, I try not to keep track of it. I, I just do whatever the team asks me to do, you know, I'm, I'm a... You know, if they need me to, you know, do, work the hard minutes uh, or, you know, go into corners or whatever, I'll do it. But if they need me to score a goal, I'll do that. And, uh, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty nice feeling, you know, saving the best for last. Now, were you guys aware that you needed a win when you got to overtime? I mean, obviously, you're trying to win. You're not playing for a tie. But did you, did you know all the permutations and everything that, that were necessary? I think, you know, the message before the game was, you know, if we win, we're, we're back home. Right. So, you know, win and we get to go back to Hartford. So I, I think that was the message, you know, going into overtime. So. What was senior night like for you at the XL Center when you and your fellow seniors were honored? Uh, it was pretty special. You know, a lot of fans there had supported us over the last, you know, three, four years. And, uh, you know, I had my parents out here. It was a special night. Yeah, coming all the way from Minnesota. Okay, Vermont this weekend at the XL Center. Best two out of three. Uh, you lost to them twice during the regular season, but you played really well against them. What do you remember from those two games, and what do you guys have to do to advance to the next stage? You know, they're a, they're a hard physical team. Uh, you know, they're kind of kind of like us. You know, they have some skilled guys, but they uh, they play a hard game. And I think for us to move on, we just you know we have to play like we did in that third period. Just you know, control the pace. Um, you know, get up and down the ice, work the puck down low, and. Uh, you know, if we play harder than they do, I, I have a good feeling we'll come out on top. Atmosphere should be pretty good at the XL Center. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It will be unreal. And, uh, you know, fans have been unreal all year and supporting us. So, really, uh, really excited. Well, Joey, congratulations on the terrific weekend. Good luck this weekend. All right. Thank you very much. All right. And that will do it for Center Ice. Don't forget the Huskies home Friday and Saturday night at 7.05, the first two games of the best in three. If necessary, game three will be Sunday afternoon at 5.05. There are ticket packages available. Go to UConnTickets.com 24-7 and get your tickets online. It's a team that's played hard all season long, and they'd love your support this weekend against the Catamounts. For Joey Ferris, for Mike Cavanaugh, and for the best video crew on the planet, the UConn video crew, I'm Jody Ambrosio. Thanks for joining us on Center Ice. Let's go!